Disney brings out the kids in all of us. So next time you're planning a dinner party, borrow a few tricks from the happiest place on earth. Teresa Strasser shows us how putting some Disney magic on the menu can make for an unforgettable dinner party. Disney movies have been capturing audiences for generations. Disney is full of hope and magic, and it keeps you remembering to dream. And adding a dash of Disney magic to a dinner party can be a game changer. It's taking the seriousness or the stuffiness that people typically associate with dinner parties out of the mix and making them a lot more fun and approachable. We spoke with the creator of The Rose Table, Katie Rose Watson, to learn how to add Disney to your dinner parties. First up, the dinner menu. Try to think about, you know, what elements from the movie are really recognizable. You saw a gold lamp, you're immediately gonna think of Aladdin. You know, you see some teacups and flowers, uh, you're immediately going to think of Alice in Wonderland. For my Beauty and the Beast party, I literally made beef ragu, cheese souffle, and the gray stuff, which are all mentioned in the song, Be Our Guest. Beef ragu, cheese souffle, pie and pudding on flambe. And food can be thematic too. I associate pumpkins with Cinderella, so I made fairy tale pumpkin soup for that dinner. Rapunzel uses a frying pan as a weapon. So I made frying pan chicken for my tangled dinner. Next, it's time to set the mood with lighting. Having that enchanting lighting is one of the easiest and least expensive ways to immediately decorate. Wash lights, like indoor floodlights, I think are really useful. You can change the colors. For my haunted mansion party, it really made it such a spooky scene. I switched out my bulbs again for red and blue to transform the dining room into the Cave of Wonders for my Aladdin dinner party. You don't need to go out and get all new decor for every single party or add colored bulbs to your existing light fixtures and twinkle light curtains. That's a good way to kind of transport your guests to, you know, any sort of magical world. Finally, sprinkle in some hidden Mickeys. So if you've ever been to a Disney park, you know that part of the fun is looking for the hidden Mickeys, which are all over the park. I like to do the same in my parties. I like to hide it in the food with berries or whipped cream or Oreos to create a little hidden Mickey um, that's edible. And then sometimes it's in the decor. We are keeping the magic alive with Disney-themed dinner parties.